And good morning, everyone. Life is magnificent. You have felt the uh, opening prayer in the sacred reading from our very own Reverend Julie Moret. You felt the radical expansion of awareness through the Reverend Coco Stewart. And then there's you, a unique emanation of infinitude. Contemplate that for a moment. Your context of how you see your life determines your, your, your content, your perception, and your experience. So if your context is just your little old me, you're just the son or daughter of a parent, or where you were born, what part of the world, what your culture is, what your uh, gender is, what your sexual expression is, then that's a very temporal and limited perception. It's interesting that human beings fight over that stuff, get offended by that stuff. But you are, the context is that you are an emanation of that which is infinite, eternal, spiritual, and forever. You're an emanation of the presence of God. And then you have temporal identities. They're beautiful identities, beautiful ways of expressing the infinite. I call them the lampshades through which the luminosity, the divine light, gets to shine through. Human beings have a tendency, because of their small perception, to fight over the lampshades. But as spiritual beings, you emanate as emanations of luminosity through your affirmative prayer, your sacred art and science of meditation, you keep coming back to the larger context. You open yourself up to insight, revelation, aha moments, satori moments in which you get to see, not with your eyes, but with consciousness, you get to see reality. You get to see who and what and where and why and when you are. You get to see that your who is an individualized expression of the what, that your what is the emanation of God, the where is at the very center of all creation, the entire universe, the entire cosmos. You're at its center. The when is now. The why is for you to reflect and to reveal the what through your who right here and right now. That comes as a flash of insight and revelation. You can hear these words, but hear the activative energy behind the words as we begin to practice meditation. And then as we, we practice meditation, which is paying attention, I'm now affirming, declaring, and decreeing that you are rich enough to pay attention, that your attention span may have been hijacked by the world of microwave consciousness. But today, you're feeling that you're rich enough to actually pay attention, to actually pay attention to your intention for tuning in to this service right now, which is to wake up to your real identity, which is a representation of infinitude, the presence that is never an absence, and to keep paying attention to your intention via your attention, so that you become radically available to that which is happening everywhere, nonstop. But guess what? It wants to happen through you and it wants to happen as you. But here's the deal. We live in a, in, a, in a field of infinite possibilities and you get to choose. That's free will. You can choose to not pay attention. You can choose to be busy. You can choose to uh, do all kinds of inner mechanics to prevent yourself from feeling your emotions. Or you can pay attention. You can stop right now and say, I'm going to pay attention to the intention within me, my intention for tuning in to this service, which is to wake up to my glorious nature. Yes, 
Emotions may bubble up. Yes, thoughts may run crazy. Yes, the body may have sensations. Yes, sounds may be happening in my environment. But then you have the greatest affirmation in the world. So what? <laughs> that's, the, that's it. That's the greatest affirmation. So what? There's noise. So what? My body is, is fidgeting. So what? My mind has crazy thoughts. So what? My emotions are, are bubbling up. You don't make a federal case out of it. It doesn't matter anyway because the way the Supreme Court is stacked, you're not going to win anyway. <laughs> so you might as well go to God. <laughs> I'm funny sometimes, I'm funny to myself. Where does that come from? Anyway, <laughs> you can take, take a breath here. <sighs> so when all of that bubbles up in your awareness, you use the affirmation, so what? You just pay attention, you look at it. Ooh, that's interesting. Ooh, that's an interesting thought. Ooh, I had that thought 20 years ago. It's still here. Oh, I remember those emotions. Oh, my God. They're still bubbling around. You don't beat yourself up about it. Just, you just become, you just observe it with your intention to wake up. Everyone knows now about the observer effect. Whatever you observe changes on a subatomic level based on your observation. And a little caveat here. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. I better go into this. <laughs> mm. No. Next service, maybe. Listen. So, whatever you observe, you're changing at a subatomic level. So, you have an intention to wake up. Things are bubbling up. You observe, but you have an intention to wake up. You start to change all of that energy. Thoughts are energy. Thoughts become proteins, they become perception. You know starts to change at a subatomic level, starts to speed up, and it becomes no longer a hindrance to you seeing that which is real. Why? You're not fighting it, you're not resisting it, you're not suppressing it, you're not repressing it, you're not trying to make it go away, you're not making it bad, it's just, so what? And then a radical change takes place. Something happens and the perception goes from identifying with that which is passing through you to you realize you are the perceiver, you are the witness, you are the, you are the awareness itself. Sometimes it's a nanosecond, sometimes it lasts for a longer period of time. And then you know what you have after that? Choice! You get to choose. In this field of infinite possibilities, you get to choose a higher choice. I declare today that happiness is the way. I declare today that abundance and prosperity is the way for me. I declare today that absolute joy, dynamic beauty is the way for me. You get to choose, not as a function of repression or suppression or resistance, but as a function of expanded awareness through your willingness to sit, pay attention, and wake up. Now you begin wherever you are. You begin to create a little bit of time every day for you to be still. Extract your attention from the world of effects. And quantum physics tells us that your observation creates the world that you see. Ooh, that's deep. <laughs> I'm going to have to let that come out a little later and see how it basically explains itself through me. <sighs> so I think that in terms of the Dharma talk, there's a lot of flow there for you. A lot of encouragement to be still, that you may be free, so that you can represent wellness, wholeness, Peace, joy, love, abundance, the feeling tone of all needs met. Choose that consciously now. Feet on the ground unless you're in a yogic position of lotus perhaps 
feet on the ground, hands in her lap facing upward, sign of receptivity, availability. Just tap for a second the space between the eyebrows. Say to yourself or out loud, I'm willing to see without eyes. I'm willing to see beyond my eyes. I see with consciousness. Hands in the lap facing upward. Slight smile on the face. Embrace your soulful intentionality to wake up to your glorious nature. It's okay to see yourself as glorious, luminous. You are immaculately conceived by a presence that is never an absence perfect spiritual idea of infinite potential emerging from the eternal it's okay to be all right with that your intention is to wake up to that truth so it's more than theory hypothesis it's more than a belief system it's why you practice to wake up to this truth What is your intention? That your own way of describing that come into your awareness. I intend to wake up to my glorious nature. I intend to know myself. I intend to be on the edge of a great discovery of my real nature in being however you wish to say it. Let your attention embrace your vibrational intention. And the nowness of this moment. Lowly listening is occurring for you are available to the, what some would call the still small voice. You're available to the sweet whisperings of the eternal. You're available to that which is whispering to you about your real nature and, and being, and not necessarily in words, but it could show up that way. It might be an inner feeling, an inner direction. But you listen as if the most important thing in the world is being spoken to you. We embrace the truth that this is the very first time we've ever practiced the art, the science of meditation. Regardless of whether we are veterans to it, beginners, stop and starters, this is our first time. <clears throat> Be still.
much you love to pay attention. The mind, if you've caught up in mind stuff, just watch the body breathe. That breath is happening presently. Don't try to alter the breath right now. Just notice it. It's happening presently. In this present moment, you may notice the breath, sensations of the body, sounds in your room, thoughts, emotional patterns. But your int intention is to wake up. Realize you are the observer, observing all of that phenomena. Phenomena is temporary, it comes and goes. You are forever.
is your attention. Breath and vibration of your intention. Wake up. Everything else is being observed by the observer, which is you, and being transmuted by your observation and your intention. Conscious of our breath, and let's receive a deep inhalation. Release the sound of ah. Let us fall in love with this moment. Let's fall in love with our practice. Let's fall in love with the presence that is never an absence. Allow the oxytocin to just move through the temple with this love chemical. 
the dopamine opening us up to a mm, availability to more good than we can imagine. Let us enter into a state of gratitude right now. Consciously, you can choose this in this field of infinite possibilities. We choose gratitude right now. This is our choice. I am grateful. And in this consciousness of gratitude, oh, lo and behold, we're beholding the presence, we're recognizing the presence with every breath that we take, the presence of love and a joy and beauty and intelligence. Closer than our breathing, nearer than our hands and feet. Oh, we just love to be grateful. And in this consciousness of gratitude with a dynamic perceptib perceptibility to see that which is real, a mystical perceptivity, an artistic perceptivity, a beauty perceptivity, the sense of oneness is activated within us. I am what thou art, thou art what I am. And from this consciousness of unity, the dynamic word of God, the soul your logos, in the beginning, this Genesis moment is activated by our intention to wake up and with the deep sense of gratitude, I declare and decree that each and every one of us are free in this moment. Each and every one of us represent the one of us. And as we're lifted up, we draw billions of people into a higher state of conscious awareness of that which is true, that which is real, that which is forever, that which is eternal, that which is infinite, that which is alive, awake, and aware of itself everywhere in its fullness. Something wonderful is happening. The word that I'm speaking is law, not conjecture. It only knows its own fulfillment. I speak it with the authority of one knowing that all that there is is God and that everything that is is a manifestation of the only thing that is and that we are free. Every organ action function of the body temple feels the import of this frequency and resurrects itself and regenerates itself according to the divine spiritual blueprint of which we have emerged. Mentally, emotionally, physically, every area of our life is touched and tinged with the luminosity of the presence that is never an absence. We're willing to be healthy emotionally, mentally, physically in every area of our life. And it's all happening right now. Right now. Right now. So what do we do? We become great givers. We give thanks that this is already so. We have honed out for ourselves a new future. The old unfolding of a future based on our past is over. A new future is emerging right now. This is our genesis moment. In the beginning, this beginning, ha, God. This is our future. Woo! We live in it now. And what do we do? We allow it to be so. Thus, we can say, and so it is. Even now, especially now. Amen. Amen and ashe. Now, so be it. As you open your eyes, if you're with anyone, some of you have created study groups around the world in which you're meeting with each other and watching the broadcast of Agape. So you can just bow to each other and just say, now so be it. So in this, in this, this next moment 
of our togetherness, this is the moment where we consciously practice the law of circulation. As you give, so shall you receive. And so we enter into a space of transcending ego, a fear of loss, and we enter into our spiritual awareness that as we give, we receive, and we etch out in our consciousness permanent prosperity through the willingness to be of service and the willing to be generous. So we stop in this moment and we give thanks for what we have to give. We bless this spiritual community, all of its ministries, programs, projects, staff, equipment, and evolutionary collaborations, and movement of unfoldment. All that is called Agape International. We bless the spiritual idea and we clothe the spiritual idea with our givingness right now. We're happy to give. We become cheerful givers. And we allow it to be so, and so it is. Amen. So you are preparing your consciousness for offering, donation, circulation, gifting, tithing, however you want to describe it to yourself. Your mind and heart is prepared, and so you now may enter into it. Wherever you are on the planet, you can take out your smartphone, and you can take the camera portion of it and shine it in the direction of the QR code that's right on your screen. If you're on your mobile phone, we'll give you another way to give it as well. But you can shine it right there. If you're, I mean, if you're looking, you're at the beach. Okay, in the mountains. Shine the QR code on the screen. It means quick response. They'll take you into the ever-expanding expanding portal of Agape International, and you'll choose the amount you want to give today and the regularity of your gift. And you can do that all one-stop circulation right now. If there's an inner itch to text, you haven't texted in the last hour, or you're like, get, oof, I haven't texted. You can text. You can scratch that itch just a little bit. You can text the word give to 424-321-6243. It'll take you into the same portal. You choose the amount and the regularity of your gifting right now. Do it, do it right now. Don't just listen to me. Actually practice giving whatever amount you want to give. Now, you can go directly to the website of Agape. Go to agapelive.com. There you'll find many things going on in our community, but there's also a way to donate. And when you uh, choose the amount, it'll, it'll ask you, you're gonna, like you're checking out, like you've just bought something, and maybe you'll, you'll do a donation, maybe you'll buy a book or something to that effect. But you can check out, which means you're really checking into your own inner abundance. You can do that right there on the website of agapelive.com. If you are into mailing, your donations in, that's beautiful. I love, I love to read the notes and the letters and the cards. It's beautiful. Send it to Agape International, 8549 Wilshire Boulevard, Suite 1156, Beverly Hills, California, 90211. You can do that right now. Checks for money artists, do it right now. Some of you all sneak a little cash in there every now and then. That's cool, it made it. I suggest checks, money, orders. But if, if you're feeling faithful, go ahead. Now, if you're on our Facebook page, there's a way to donate on Agape's Facebook page as well. Those are the ways to give. Go forth and multiply right this moment. We're going to bring forth the Reverend Julie to highlight some of the things at agapelive.com. Good morning. We've got a couple of highlighted announcements for you today. You can visit agapelive.com for more information and to find out about all of our weekly offerings. Do you have a question about your life? Are you seeking answers? Well, guess what? The answer is you. Because you are here to live with thriving intimate relationships, expand your financial empowerment, and experience a deeper connection to spirit. Agape University invites you to join the dynamic master practitioner and teacher, Reverend Susie Lula, for The Answer Is You, a live online class based on the best-selling book by Reverend Michael Bernard Beckwith. 
You are who and what the universe is seeking to express through. The Answer Is You is a five-week course beginning Wednesday, October 18th, live on Zoom at 6 p.m. All sessions will be recorded and made available following each class. This course is open to everyone, that means you. For those who aspire to enter the Agape Professional Practitioner Studies Program, this is a required course. Register today at agapelive.com. But wait, there's more. You are invited to a free master class. The answer is you, an intimate and inspiring dialogue with Reverend Michael B. Beckwith and Reverend Susie Lula. In this life-transforming event, Reverend Susie will skillfully guide us through an intimate conversation with Reverend Michael, and you will have the opportunity to learn directly from him as he unveils the power and practice of harmonizing life structures and unlocking your true potentials. Mark your calendars for Wednesday, October 11th at 6 p.m. This extraordinary masterclass will be live on Zoom and it's absolutely free. Don't miss out on this golden opportunity to gain profound insights, ignite your inner fire, and unleash the power within you. Secure your spot now by visiting agapelive.com to register. Agape is open to the public. Come on up to Agape every Sunday, meditation at 11 a.m., 11.30 celebration service. Just remember, we still have some construction happening around the building, so give yourself a couple extra minutes uh, to get here. As always, all services are live streamed. We love, love, love seeing you here, so come on up to Agape. This week's guest on Reverend Michael's Take Back Your Mind podcast is television and movie actor Lauren London. Plus, Reverend Michael will answer your life question of the week and guide you in meditation. Watch or listen to Take Back Your Mind with Michael B. Beckwith on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. Remember, subscribe or follow to receive alerts when new shows drop each Wednesday. If you're seeking spiritual insight into your finances, health, life, purpose, or world events, email Reverend Michael at podcast at michaelbeckwith.com. Your question may be featured as the life question of the week on the Take Back Your Mind podcast with Michael B. Beckwith. Share your first name and location. Today is the last day to audition for the Agape International Choir. If you love to sing, if you're interested in building community, sharing your voice, participating in the high vibrational sound of Agape, come to rehearsal today, 2 p.m. The holidays are right around the corner. We would love to have you join our choir. For more information regarding guidelines and audition process, visit the music and arts table in the lobby or email choir at agapelive.com. Agape en Español is in session every Saturday at 8.30 a.m. for meditation and affirmative prayer exclusively in Spanish on Agape's Facebook page. Listen, a person that is ill has only one dream. A healthy person has many. Your health is wealth. Give your body temple the raw materials it needs for renewal, regeneration, recovery, and the stability of good health. Subscribe to AdaptoZen at Nutrarize.com. Get the Rev Superfood Greens and Vitamin D3K2. Your body will love you right back. And also, we wanted to make sure that you hear this. This is very important. It's come to our attention that false messages purporting to be from Agape are making the rounds on the internet in the form of email messages. And the sender name from them is Agape International Spiritual Center, but these e emails actually come from lawofattraction.info. These messages are false. Um, they do not come from Agape. Definitely don't click on any links on these emails. We suggest you just delete them. And you can know that anything that comes from Agape always comes from agapelive.com. Many blessings to you. Have a beautiful day. Thank you, Reverend Julie. So stay mindful about uh, who's emailing you. Let's stop and let us give thanks. We give thanks for everything has already been given and we're up leveling our ability to accept, receive that which is being perpetually given we give permission for it to be given through and as us that we may become greater vessels for that which is real to anchor itself on earth as it is in the highest heaven. It's happening now and so it is. Amen.
And so wherever you are, put a smile on your face, stand up, and in this vibratory feeling tone of gratitude and thanksgiving, we'll have a, a verse of this particular benediction song. And then we'll have the benediction, and then you will get ready for those in the LA area to actually come to Agape I'm at 11 a.m. for the meditation and 11.30 for the worship celebration fellowship service. Now is the time for me to let go of the Now is the time for me to let go of the shame. The past, behind the past is behind me. I see, I see anew. I'm ready, I'm ready for I'm ready for my change, my transformation. I'm ready, I'm ready for my change. I forgive everything. I forgive everything, everything, everything. I forgive. I stand on the tiptoe of the nowness of this moment. Everything. And I peer over into the promised land of my own to be at. And there I see infinite potentiality activated by my intention to be more than I ever thought I could possibly be. And this is where I live. And as I am speaking, it is the I am of each and every one of us being lifted up. And as we're lifted up, we draw all into this higher frequency. And this is where we live. This is where we give. This is where we sing. This is where we radiate the divine presence everywhere that we go. And then we can live in the awareness of how did I make anyone feel if they came in contact with me. They feel good, wonderful, magnificent. Because God is shining through. It's happening now. And so it is. Amen. Have a beautiful and wonderful day. The next service will begin at 8.30 a.m. meditation. 9 o'clock worship celebration fellowship service. And then again live and in person. 11 a.m. and 11.30 Pacific time. See you there.